this video, I'm going to show you the picture that I took with my Canon 50mm 1.8 Mark II of the Comet Neowise. Hi and welcome to the channel, it is great to see you, I know it's been a little while for sure. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe just here. That would be great to have you aboard and help my channel's growth immensely. Big thumbs up. Well, this really is a second video to the first video that I done for the Canon 50mm 1.8 STM. I'll print a link for that just here. Now, I realize this video is gonna be a little bit on the short side, to be honest. So, the Canon 50mm 1.8 Mark II STM. If this lens is really a lens that just keeps on giving. Will you be able to take a photo of the comet with this lens? Yes, you will. And it will be a great photo. It really will be a great photo. But my biggest advice to you is to get out and see this comet whilst you can. It won't be very long and then it'll probably disappear from our skies. But listen, it's going to be 7,000 years till we see this again. And to be honest, I'm probably going to be dust. I'm gonna be dust, no doubt about it. So that in mind, I think my advice to you would be to download an app such as Stellarium Mobile. Now I know they've updated recently and the app is absolutely spot on. It'll tell you exactly where Neowise is, plus tell you how high it is in the sky by the number of degrees. Now that's gonna help you immensely because what you can do, if you think of your fist being 10 degrees, then if you stick your fist out to the horizon, you will be able to count up the sky in multiples of 10. So over the last few weeks, I have noticed the comet slightly drifting across the sky, going from about a north-northeast position to a north-northwest position. So one of my strongest pieces of advice would be to download Slurium Mobile. It's gonna let you know exactly where Neowise is in the sky, and you're gonna be able to track it and locate it a lot, lot quicker. Also, check out your local weather. Now, for me lately, I've downloaded I don't know how many weather apps and they've all been absolutely fun. They're all giving me different weather reports and in the end, you kind of don't know which one to trust. And it's really pissing me off. So download yourself a good weather app. Two maybe three, four weather apps. Usually I go with clear outside in the Met Office. Now, both of these over the last few weeks have been absolutely shocking in their forecast for me. And the other thing I'd like to say about Comet Neowise is that try to find yourself a decent composition. Don't try and shoot it like over a mountain. Or maybe do a time lapse at the end of this video over a mountain. Try and find yourself something a little bit more interesting in the composition. Try and, you know, kind of experiment a little bit more. This is the fun bit about photography. And this is the fun bit about photography that I like. I like finding those compositions. I like to find something a little bit different to what everybody else is doing. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't really get myself out there because I'm trying to keep myself shielded. It may be a little bit sketchy on times. We all know what it's like to go out in the middle of the night and the end of some kind of field or whatever you may be. I don't want to ask really. Get yourself out there. Get yourself in a position where you can take that perfect shot. So to repeat what I said in the last video about the 50mm lens, yes, you will get some chromatic aberration. Yes, you will get some coma. Do I think it'll affect the shot? Not initially. I think if you're really starting off in astrophotography, you'll be taken back by the shots that you've taken. I still maintain this lens for the price mark is absolutely phenomenal. And if you are still interested in doing astrophotography and you are a beginner, this lens is gonna blow your socks off. To be honest, it's really good. And especially of this Neowise Comet. This Comet is absolutely superb. There are thousands of photos of this Comet at the moment on the internet. And if you haven't got any other lenses that you can use for astrophotography, I just want to encourage you really to go out and see this comet because even with the naked eye, it is absolutely phenomenal. So just go out and see it. Go out and see it while you can, providing the weather forecast is okay. Because the weather forecast. 
unbelievable. So here we are at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. A very short video, I know. So I will see you next Saturday, next Saturday, nine o'clock, nine o'clock next Saturday, where I'll be reviewing the Samyang 20mm 1.8 lens. And I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I potentially think that this is gonna be my go-to lens. I absolutely love it. We all know how sketchy it can be in the middle of the night and it is very, very concerning. And I'm not saying that... <laughs> Talking like a f Muppet. Like a Muppet. Might be better off getting a beer now. Woman! Woman! Yeah, beer! I'm gonna get hit now. <laughs>